So how do we convert 100 degrees into radians? Turns out it's very simple. First, I want to know a relationship between degrees and radians. So it turns out that we know that there are pi radians in or equivalent to 180 degrees. In other words, remember, pi is a number, 3.14. So in other words, one radian is approximately 57.3 degrees. All right. When I do my conversions, I'm going to do it in terms of uh, this uh, value, this relationship, just because this is more exact. We don't really sometimes, they don't like to work with decimals, although you'd be fine if you did. All right. In terms of getting a, an approximate value, but maybe your teacher might not like that. So we're going to do it this way. So we're going to write down our given value of 100 degrees. I'm going to, instead of writing the little symbol at the top, I'm going to write the word DEG for degrees. Okay. And by the way, if you ever saw DEG in your calculator and you're like, what the heck is DEG? Well, guess what it is? Degrees. Right. How, how many of you out there right now are like, oh, Oh my God, no way. Yep, 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 yep. That's all it means. DEG, degrees there, right in your calculator. All right. So uh, what we need to do then is we need to find our answer here in terms of radians. We don't want degrees. Remember, this is like saying 100 degrees over 1. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my conversion frac fraction here, my conversion relationship, and I'm going to take the degree measurement and I'm going to plug it into the denominator. Why do I do that? Why degrees in the in the denominator? Because I want them to cancel. I don't want that in my answer. So if I plug in the degrees in the denominator, then the radians must go in the numerator. Okay? Now notice, unit-wise, your answer will be in terms of radians. So we're good to go. Now all you have to do is start simplifying. So this is 100. This is 180. Right? We can further simplify this down to, it's easier maybe to see it like this, 10, and this would be 18. And then you can basically divide 2 into each of them, right? This would be 5, and this would then be 9. So what I'm saying here and suggesting that this value or this relationship or this conversion works out to be simply this, 5 times pi over 9 radians is equal to what? Well, 5 pi over 9 radians. It's literally that simple. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Check out some more of our videos. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.